I'm really hungry, but I'm not in the mood. Hey everybody, so it is the end of April and that means it's time for another empties video. So I've got quite a few products here that I want to talk you through. And you may notice that I am in a different background to my old videos, but I have moved house and I have moved in with my boyfriend and I am now adulting. So this is where I'm going to be filming from now on. I think I'm going to try and jazz up the background a little bit. But this is my new filming room and I am super excited for my first video here, so <laughs> let's get going. Firstly, I'm going to start off with the Holika Holika Daily Fresh Green Tea Cleanser. And this is something that I accidentally stumbled upon on Beauty Bay. I was looking for a new face clear, like cleanser. I was looking for a new face cleanser and I've tried Holika Holika's concealers before. So when I saw this, I was really interested to give it a try. I wouldn't say that I'm absolutely raving about it, but it certainly did clean the face. And when I was using my muslin cloth to really get in there, I could see the dirt coming off. So obviously that is good. One thing I felt like the smell was a little bit overpowering and the way it went on it kind of felt like it was like E45 cream or something so it was quite thick whereas I'd be looking for a bit more of a lighter cleanser as my skin's a bit sensitive but this was really good and it really got in there but just for me it wasn't 100% the right cleanser that I've fallen in love with. So next is a classic and this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I have absolutely no faults about this. I love it to the moon and back. I use it for absolutely everything, setting the face. I use it for making pigments of eyeshadows stronger. I use it for fixing my life problems. I absolutely love it so, so much. And I feel like it's such a universal product that I don't really even need to talk about it, but I thought I would just mention it anyway as I have run out of this. So next, this is the Revolution Hyalur Hyaluronic Fix, and this is their Hydrating and Plumping Makeup Fixing Spray. So obviously I got this when, we all know how it is, Urban Decay Setting Spray is what, like £22, and I was having one of those moments where I was like, I don't really want to be spending £22 on a setting spray right now. So I heard really good things about the Makeup Revolution one, so I wanted to try it as a bit of a dupe. I wouldn't say that it is as long lasting as the Urban Decay setting spray, but I think it was only a couple of pounds. So if you're on a bit more of a budget, this is definitely a good one to try. So next I have got the IT Cosmetics Miracle Water. And this actually was sent to me, so this is gifted. And it is a three in one tonic. It's got skin brightening booster, anti-aging treatment and skin softening micellar cleanser. So I was just using this like I would a usual micellar water. And on days when I wasn't wearing any makeup, I was also using this just to kind of like freshen up the skin a little bit and get rid of kind of, if I've woken up and thought, oh, I'm not wearing any makeup today, I would just kind of freshen the skin up with it and then go and it would make my skin feel very glowy. I would definitely recommend this and I feel like for a good size bottle like this it's definitely worth it. I'd heard of it cosmetics before but I hadn't actually heard of this product so I was super 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 excited to give it a try and I think this is actually going to be a go to now. Next this is a nail varnish, this is the Barry M Jelly Nail Paint and this is in the colour Sugar Apple. So I will give you a close up of this. I think this is a super nice colour for summer and I was digging out all my pastel nail varnishes and I found this one that I can't even get into it anymore but it's such a gorgeous colour so I'm definitely going to be rebuying this because how nice would this look with a tan in the summer? It was one of them colours that I was like definitely have a mint green nail varnish somewhere and then I found it and I was like oh it's gone all goopy but yeah no I absolutely love this colour. Next these are the Boots Cucumber Eye Makeup Remover Pads and I'll be honest this is just a buy on a whim you know what it's like when you're getting boots I was literally just like grabbing everything off the shelves but these these are actually really nice and they're a good way to kind of get in there get all your mascara off at the end of the day and it leaves your eyelashes feeling really fresh and cute. And last but by no means least, I have got a Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker lipstick in the shade Love and O Beige. And as you can see, that is the colour there. So it's like it says on the tin really, just a really nice beige colour. And it is one of their shine ones. So one thing that I would say about this is that 
as soon as you've had a drink or you have eaten the colour is gone but it is a super nice one if you've kind of got like everyday makeup look a bit like what I've got on today super toned down this is a nice one but if you just want to kind of shove something a bit glossy and a bit of colour over your lips and then just go out the house if you're someone who likes a thick liquid lipstick that's long lasting that is definitely not for you but if you prefer more of like a balmy side that might be so there are all my products for the end of April I hope you have enjoyed this video don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like the video and don't forget to click subscribe we're now over a thousand subscribers which I know it may be a small number to some, but to me it means the world, so I'd have to thank you so much. And I know that YouTube aren't showing everybody's videos, so make sure you click the notification if you want to be notified when I upload. It is once a week, maybe twice if I'm feeling a bit jazzy, but yeah, usually every Sunday, so be sure to check back in for them. Goodbye.